it sounds, trust me. <laughs> um, today will be spent cleaning. And if I don't get everything done today, cleaning will drag on to Friday. And then the next two days are done doing assessment work and homework and everything for my course. Oh, wow, I look like crap. Anyway, um, what week is it? 16. Yeah, I'm 16 weeks <laughs> this week. Um, you know what? I think morning sickness is actually starting to get better. Um, I don't think I vomited this week yet. And if I have, it's just cleaning up um, like really bad smelling stuff or doing cat food. Um, but apart from that, everything's getting better by the looks of it. So I'm so happy about that. Um, I've had some soft ligament pain. Like I've had that almost consistently since 12 weeks. Like I remember getting that when I was 12 weeks and just thinking, oh, this must be that. Um, if I'm getting it now, it won't be too bad, blah, 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 blah. I don't know why that was like a logical conclusion that I came to that that would be that. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. Um, especially, I don't know if it was my weight as well. But, okay, so I have to drive. I, I know I've already said this, but I'll just explain. I don't know, I'm getting to it. Um, I have to drive to the train station, and then I catch two trains, and then I walk around my campus. And that usually is all day. And so I'm walking around with a heavy bag all day. And so usually toward, I finish at four, usually towards two o'clock, I'll be in class, and I'll just get really bad hip pain. Um, it's not necessarily the ligaments, but I think it's just the hips themselves, like the ball joints. I don't know, but it hurts. Um, so every now and again, I'll get a pain like underneath my belly button, like a stretching pain. Like I'm not worried about it, I think it just hurts. Um, my back pain stopped. Um, I know for a while there I had, oh my god. Okay, you know how in my last video I said it was a synaptic? That's not right. Synapses are between the axon and the dendrites and neurotransmitters go through them. Sciatic. The sciatic nerve. Um, that's what we've got on both sides of our backs. And it was my right one that was playing up for the few days. I haven't had that since, thankfully. Um, I went to my first prenatal appointment at the hospital. I don't know if that's back or something here. It's fine. But um, I had to... Oh, it was so long. We were at the hospital for ages doing this with the midwife. Uh, and just did like a pregnancy health record. And oh my god. It took like three hours. Um, but yeah, it was just like getting information. And why not I have to go back on the 19th of March for my 20 week. Um, I'm going to be having my glucose tolerance test. I was meant to be going for a scan today. I was meant to be having my gender scan either today or tomorrow. But I forgot to book it. And I didn't know that after 17 weeks, Medicare only covers you for the 18, 19 week scan. And then you have to pay for all the others. So I've missed out on like, I have, sorry, I have the referral on the fridge and everything. I just forgot to call and book. And then yesterday I was sitting in class and I'm like, oh. yeah, that was fun. It just dawned on me that I'd completely screwed it up. So I wasn't too impressed with myself. Um, I tried calling and I tried getting an appointment, but there was none available and it just sucked. Um, food cravings. I think all my aversions are gone. Um, I was thinking about how I used to be compared to what I am now. There's nothing really that deters me. Like, I'm even eating tuna and, and that now. Um, and, like, the rices and the pastas and the curries and... Um, or as beforehand, just looking at, like, rice boiling was making me vomit. Um, but, yeah, I think all my food aversions are gone. Um, I'm not necessarily... I have M&Ms in my bag! I forgot about that. I bought M&M's yesterday. Cravings, um, junk food. Like I've, 
Matt is really, really healthy in the farm. He's really healthy and tries to eat healthy foods and whatnot. Myself? Um, there was a bit of a lifestyle change coming and living here um, when we moved in together. But lately, oh my god, it's like fish and chips and chips and gravy. Like, I, I hate chips and gravy. Chips and gravy. Um, like, even the salads. Like, some salads and calamari and that. Like, you just put ranch dressing. Ooh, police car. I'm just thinking about what I'm wearing and if I have to answer the door. <laughs> I can't hear them stop them. I don't know why there'd be police up here. Oh dear. Um, anyway. I'm really kind of... I want to go look and peek, but I can't. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, apart from that... Like junk food cravings and chocolate cravings and being a little fatty. Um, at my prenatal appointment, um, I've only put on uh, 1.8 kilos since I was 12 weeks. So I'm 16 weeks now, so that's pretty good. I was happy with that, but I'm getting really like round in the face. Like it looks like I'm putting on a lot of weight and I'm not. Um, and like my stomach is sticking out now, which I'm not too impressed about, but people are actually like recognizing me. I don't know if this is a good or bad thing, but people are actually recognizing me as being pregnant now, but I think they think I'm more further along than what I am. Cause like yesterday on the train, I was getting smashed by like these kids in their school bags and I was getting pushed in the middle railings and these guys like offered me their seat. Um, like, because we've got prior priority seating. Um, I thought that was really, really sweet because I, I hate getting like hit in the ba belly with bags. It just really pisses me off. I'm so angry by the time I get home, I take it out on that. Um, but yeah. Um, just for the prenatal appointment, they weighed me, did my height. Oh my god, they listen to the heartbeat. It's 160 beats per minute. So that's what it was from the NT scan when I was 13 weeks. But she made me lay on this table and they... I, like, I think it'd be um, a little dramatic. For, well, not necessarily dramatic, but she'd have to do more than like a normal person because like, I'm pretty chunky. She like, dug her fingers in. Like, she, okay, she didn't dig her fingers in. <laughs> I'm over-exaggerating. She, she just pressed... Like where the uterus is, because you can definitely feel it when I lay down. Like my whole belly sticks up. Um, I was I was like in fits of laughter. She was getting really annoyed with me. She was a sweetheart, but I just couldn't stop laughing, and I felt so bad. I had to take my glasses off. There were tears running down my cheeks. Like I just couldn't stop laughing, and that's in there with me. And he's just face palming. I have to be like, oh my god, what is wrong with you, girl? It took her about three or four goes because she had to measure where the uterus is sitting, like fondus or something. <laughs> it was really embarrassing. Um, but no, apart from that, it was good. So I go back when I'm 20 weeks. The glucose tolerance test, um, I'm going to be 18 or 19 weeks out, so that's in two or three weeks. I'm a little bit nervous about that because it's a fasting and like I've already, I have to take Maxilon. This is my breakfast. Up and go. I take Maxilon with that. <sighs> and so... If I can only have water and, like, nothing else, I'm going to be vomiting and then, like, having to drink, like, a liquid, it's not going to end well. So then they take, um, I think it's a blood test before you drink it and a blood test after you drink it. I'm not too sure, but I just know there's two blood tests involved. Um, I'm not too worried about that, even though I do have rolly veins, and so they have to stab me like a thousand times. And last time I had a blood test, they wanted to take it out of my wrist. I'm like, <laughs> no! I'm just like, can you find anywhere else but my wrist, please? Um, so they tried both my arms and both my hands and everything, but they eventually got it. Um, ah, headaches are another symptom. I've been getting really bad headaches lately, um, so I've been trying to keep on top of taking my prenatal vitamins to see if that like, helps a little bit. Um, but I get them like right behind my eyes. Um, I think it was Tuesday last week I had a really bad migraine. 
and I know it'll be Monday night, I think.